Hello children! Today we will learn some interesting facts about the planet Earth, about the Sun, and why we have the four seasons. Let's start! Hi Uncle Phil! How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Phil, I would like to visit you and your relatives in Australia this summer, so we can surf and sunbath together. Excellent! See you this summer. Bye-bye, Uncle Phil! Bye-bye, Roni. Can't wait for the summer to come and to visit Uncle Phil in Australia! Bye bye Croatia! Australia, here I come! Hi Uncle Phil! Hi Roni! Abcicha! Abcicha! It's so cold! What are you doing here, Roni? It's winter! Abcicha! Abcicha! Uncle Phil! It's summer in Croatia! Why is it winter in Australia? I will tell you why. The Earth circles around the Sun. When the part of the planet Earth where Uncle Phil and his relatives are is closer to the sun. The sun shines more directly and they have summer and the other part of the planet Earth has winter. The Earth circles the whole year around the sun. It takes 365 days to make the whole circle. And when a part of the planet Earth where we are is closer to the sun, the sun shines more directly where we are, so we have summer. And the other part of the planet where Uncle Phil and his relatives are in Australia have winter. Ponovimo još jednom. Zemlja kruži oko Sunca i kad je naš dio, to je sjeverni dio planeta Zemlje bliži Suncu, sunčeve zrake direktno padaju na Zemlju, te je kod nas ljeto, a na južnoj poluci, to je na južnom dijelu planeta Zemlje, tad je zima. I obrnuto. Look at the picture. And let's try to match the words with the picture together. Number one is the sun. That's right. Number two are sun rays. Well done. Number three is the planet Earth. Number four is the North Pole, that's right. Number five is Equator. And the last one, number six, is the South Pole. Well done, children! And now, let's listen to Elliot's report. The Earth is round like a ball, and that's why sun rays don't fall the same way everywhere. The sun shines more directly on the part of the Earth near the equator, that's why this part of the world is very hot and dry.
the South Pole and the North Pole get little or no sunlight during the winter. That's why this part of the world is very cold, and there is a lot of snow and ice. The Earth circles around the sun. When our part of the planet is close to the sun, we have summer, and the other part of the planet has winter. That's why we have Christmas in the winter, and Australians have Christmas in the summer. Written by Elliot. Read these questions and match them with the correct answers. You can pause the video and when you finish, we will check it together. Okay, let's start. One, why don't sun rays fall the same way everywhere? Because the earth is round like a ball. Two, why do we have summer when Australians have winter? Because our part of the planet is then closer to the sun. 3. Why is the area around the equator very hot and dry? Because the sun shines more directly on that part of the uh, planet Earth. 4. Why are the South Pole and the North Pole dark during the winter? Because they get little or no sunlight. Well done! And now something for curious minds. Do you know what is the sun made of? What's the temperature on the sun? How big is the sun? What's the distance between the sun and the earth? Let's find out. And now something for curious minds. This is the sun taken by NASA. The temperature in the core is 15 million degrees Celsius and the temperature on the surface of the sun is 5,500 degrees Celsius. So, as you can see, it's very, very hot. Mm, the sun is quite big. It's huge. And it's more than 100 Earths wide. And more than a million Earths could fit inside it. Can you imagine that more than a million Earths we can put inside the sun? That's how big the sun is. As you can see on this video, sun surface is not still. A lot of explosions happen on the sun's surface because the sun is made of some gases. The sun is made 91% of hydrogen, 8.9% of helium and only 0.1% of heavier elements. Energy is created in the core. It travels to the surface of the sun for over 100,000 years. Energia 
nastaju sunčavo jezgri i potrebno joj je više od sto tisuća godina da dospije iz jezgre na površinu sunca. But when this energy comes to the surface, it travels like light and heat to earth and it takes only eight minutes for light to travel 150 million kilometers to earth. Zamislite, jednom kada dospije na površinu sunca, ta energija putuje u obliku svjetlosti i topline do zemlje. I potrebno joj je samo 8 minuta da pređe 150 milijuna kilometara i dođe do zemlje. And for homework, copy the questions in your notebooks and answer them, and then draw the planet Earth and the sun with the sun rays falling directly on our part of the planet, as you can see on this picture. That's all for today. Bye-bye and have a nice day!